Hi, I'm Adam from Ergonode. This time I will show you what category attributes are and what they can be used for. Thanks to this, categories will cease to be just an insignificant container and can become an important element of product presentation in your store. Let's start with the most important question. What are category attributes? Actually, they are exactly the same attributes used for products, but pinned to a category. Literally the same attributes. Clever, right? The only thing you need to specify is which attributes should be visible in the categories. If you go to any category, to the Translations tab, you will see the selected attributes. This time, I have selected random attributes already created to show you in action. Nothing is stopping you from creating them with only categories in mind. So let's do that right now. For example, we can use such category attributes to convert a simple category listing into a rich subpage in the store with additional descriptions, banners, and a dedicated URL. Attributes with keywords will be useful for SEO. An attribute with product relations can be used to highlight some of the most important products in a category. On the other hand, we can just keep internal information needed by the content team. Use it in any way you like. To solidify the knowledge, let's create category underscore name, category underscore description, and category underscore banner attributes. Then let's add them to category attributes. I will also remove the attributes from the previous example. Now all that remains is to complete the information and handle it on the storefront side. Category attributes in Ergonode can improve the management of information with this new area and make the storefront more attractive, which will be reflected in your sales. Thanks for reaching this point, and I welcome you to check out other tips on our channel.